Right now at four today, the 52nd Newport Bermuda race turns tragic. A captain has died after falling overboard. I'm Brian Yacono. And I'm Chelsea Jones. Colin Golder of New Jersey went overboard just over halfway through the over 600 mile race. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to an experienced sailor who has competed in this race. And she's joining us now from Newport with what we're learning about the challenges of the course. Brittany. O'Brien Chelsea, the 74 year old, lost his life in a race he's competed in 10 times before. Another sailor that ended up finishing that race says the forecast didn't predict just how harsh the weather was going to be. Hundreds of boats set sail from Newport Friday, the sunny day that turned stormy, similar to Morgan of the Marietta's journey. During strong winds, Colin Golder fell overboard. Race officials say the vessel's crew then recovered their captain's body. Officials tell me this was Golder's 10th time competing in the race. They say the New Jersey man was an experienced offshore sailor. Jim Murray competed in the over 600 mile race and says bad weather was a factor the entire course. And shifty conditions on the back side of the front, and we chased that front all the way to Bermuda. So we had confused sea state. Uh, we had winds that were up and down, quite shifty. Everything, everything. The weather affects obviously how much the wind is blowing, it affects the size of the seas. Um, changes in weather have to be prepared for, predicted. Lakeville resident Steve Robinson has competed in the Bermuda race. The experienced sailor tells me he was sailing in Newport the day the competition started on Friday and conditions were tough. We left Bristol in conditions like this and by the time we got off the War College, um, that storm came in and uh, there was probably about a 15-20 minute period where I had about 50 feet of visibility. I couldn't see the bridge, I couldn't see anything. It was an absolute downpour, thunder, lightning, the works. And uh, just being out in the water in those conditions, is uh, not a good idea, but it happens to everybody. And race officials say the Morgan of the Marietta was about halfway through the course when Golder fell overboard. They also say that 42 foot vessel is now headed back to mainland. Chelsea Bryan. Brittany, for the people you spoke with today who have competed in this trek before, did they reference if there's a specific uh, stretch of the race that's more challenging? Well, Brian Robinson, the man I spoke to that is an experienced sailor that has done this race, says about halfway to Bermuda is the Gulf Stream, and that current can throw sailors and a vessel far off course. Coming up new at 5, I'll have more on those challenges as well as just the basic challenges of a days long trip. Back to you. Brittany Schaefer, live for us in Newport this afternoon. Thanks so much. A sailor is dead after competing in the Newport Bermuda race. Racing officials say Colin Golder of New Jersey fell overboard on the journey from Newport to Bermuda this weekend, shortly after his vessel mates recover the 74 year old's body. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer spoke to a sailor who has competed in the race before and has more on just how challenging the 600 mile course can be. Brittany? Well, Mike Shannon, 74-year-old Colin Golder was the captain of that ship. Racing officials say he was steering the boat through strong winds when he fell into the water. Hundreds of miles at sea is nothing new for Steve Robinson. Last winter, I sailed from here to uh, St. Thomas. Feet aside, a day's long journey comes with challenges. You're out there, and you can't turn around, and you can't stop. Um, you can't take a break. Um, you have to have enough people to keep sailing the boat on a 24-hour cycle until you get wherever you're going. Mm -hmm. And again, the conditions change. Newport Bermuda race officials say the changing weather conditions and strong winds sent Colin Golder overboard Sunday. The New Jersey man's body was recovered by his crew. The skilled offshore sailor losing his life in a race he's competed in 10 times. It was incredibly challenging. I think the forecast went out the window when the front moved through the starting line. Along with bad weather, sailors who have completed the Bermuda race say the course alone is difficult. The Morgan of the Marietta made it halfway through the course. The spot sailors tell me lies an obstacle. Race to the Gulf Stream and then race to get through it. We got wrecked in the Gulf Stream basically. Uh, calm winds, strong current knocked us about a day off course. And at last check, that 42 foot boat is now headed to mainland where investigators will continue to look into what happened. Live in Newport, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.